What's going on? How's everyone doing today? So, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. In fact, a lot different. I've never done anything like this before. And I, I just want to talk about one of my favourite bands of all time who I, I believe needs some more recognition. Like, seriously, I, I, I know I've only got minuscule amounts of subscribers, but whatever I could do to get this band out there, this is one of my favourite bands of all time, Car Bomb. If you guys talk to me on Discord, or probably if you know me in real life, you know that I'm a huge fan of this band. They are a mathcore, uh, groove metal, progressive, I don't even know, gent, kind of, band from America, and they are just, they, they blow my mind. They are amazing. <laughs> They're insane. The, the, the things they're able to do... The things the drummer is able to do especially, but the guitarist, the bassist, and the singer as well. Absolutely amazing, talented guys, and they don't get enough recognition. Like, they, they spent, what, like 10 years? 11 years before they released this album? Before they really hit any kind of recognition, and... I, I don't know, it's just, it's just really sad, to be honest. I mean, yeah, they're, they're not very accessible. Because you know they're very, uh, they're very extreme. They're very hard to get into, I guess. But no, I'm, I'm still kind of surprised. Like they've played with a lot of pretty huge bands. Even back in 2008, they opened for uh, for Gojira. So that's, I'm guessing that's where they kind of knew them from. So how did I come to discover this band, who I now claim to be my favorite band of all time? Well, funnily enough, in a Gojira concert. Yes, that was my first ever proper concert, was a Gojira one, and Car Bomb and Code Orange, in fact, uh, opened for them, and this was back in, I believe, March of 2017, and they, they were playing at the O2 Academy 2? So, whatever, the O2 in, in Birmingham, and they were fantastic. All three bands were insanely good. It wasn't really until after the concert that I checked out the other two bands properly, and then all of a sudden they started blowing up. <laughs> um, Code Orange are now pretty huge, and Car Bomb they they still still left behind in the dust just a little bit. So as well as being one of my favourite bands of all time, what I really like about Car Bomb is the fact that they've only ever gotten better as they've gone along. They have three full albums, and one demo, I do believe, from 2004, with some songs on it that were later put onto their first album, Centralia, which re was released in 2007. And their first album, Centralia, I would give it either a an, a 7.5 or an 8, maybe even an 8.5 if, if it's on a good day that I'm listening to it. But yeah, great album. Then the next one, the uh, the weirdest name of an album I've ever heard, probably. Uh, <laughs> I, I'd give it a nine. It's 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 got a really sort of strange production sound. It's a bit, I guess, muddy, but it really really works with the album. If you can sort of look past it, you don't even have to look past it. It just works. <laughs> but then, um, oh man, Meta that came out a couple of years ago one and a half years ago. Holy crap! It's the best album I've ever heard. Like, maybe not quite, but oh my god, it's up there. Nine and a half to a ten for me. That That is an insanely good album. I don't know... I, do, I don't know what it is about it. They're just everything about it is perfect. And, and as, well as, as well as being a perfect album to me, it's got some very interesting cameos in the biggest one would be uh, Joe Duplantier from Gojira. He's uh, he's he's offered his vocals on a couple of the tracks, and they're pretty phenomenal. As well as that, the uh, I can't remember his name. The guy from Suffocation, the uh, the lead singer, I do believe. He uh, he featured on this album as well, and he also blew us all away. <laughs> what can I say? It's just a fantastic album. One thing I really like about Carbon as well is the fact that every single time I mention them. Every single time I talk about them, I just, I feel happy. Like, I feel really proud to know and love this band. 
and I guess I'm just super glad that I, I, I got to see them and even though actually when I did go to see them I arrived a couple of tracks in yeah car bomb blew me away despite the fact that we didn't get to see them from the very start in fact you can go and watch a video on my channel I've I've uploaded a video with footage from this this very concert I believe secrets within yes yeah, secrets within I filmed a bit of from Car Bomb, then Code Orange is Forever, which is the first time I ever heard the band, let alone the song, which is insane. They were already kind of blowing up at this time. Then, uh, I think, what was it? Uh, Gojira song, I can't remember which one it was. Only Pain, that's what it was. But yeah, I uploaded that video and I'll put it in the link. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for you guys to see. So I, uh, today, literally just today, about 20 minutes ago, I just got done watching a, a documentary from Michael Daferner, the vocalist of Car Bomb. I watched his documentary named Why You Do This, which is on his channel. I will link that in the description as well, and if I don't, please remind me. But I, I loved it. It's fantastic. For such a small band, and bearing in mind they made this documentary about, what, ten years ago? Nine, ten years ago? They, they did a fantastic job. Like, the, the editing was good, the music was good, the the sound was decent, you know, just, it was interesting as well. It, it detailed what they were feeling and how every single, every single gig they played just kind of knocked them even harder into the ground. It, it's, it's kind of sad actually to see because they were a teeny tiny little band. This was when they hadn't even released this album as of yet. And they, they they hadn't quite got any recognition, but then then he starts talking. He had a he has like a mini interview with a bunch of other bands. He he got the guy from Chariot, um, he even got Joe Duplantier on this thing. And this was around about the time where they released uh, what was it called, The Way of All Flesh. So yeah, they they had actually got some recognition at the time. So they they played a gig with them. They got some interviews. They talked to him. Gojira was saying that they they don't even have all that much money. Which is pretty crazy. Like even at the time when they were already kind of popular, they, they don't have that much money, and it's kind of sad to see. But yeah, that's what the music industry is. It's a shame. So to wrap up this video, I just want to say, if you're a fan of Gojira, um, Code Orange, Fear Factory, The Chariot, Norma Jean, bands like that, just go and have a listen to Car Bomb. Tell me what you think. It might take uh, it might take a few listens. To really make it click with you but when it does if it does you you will not regret it they are an amazing band like they're not a perfect band no band is perfect without a doubt but I would I would consider myself a, a huge fan of them and I'm gonna hold my hands up right now I do not own any CDs or anything from car bomb I'm trying to get a hold of some but uh, money I guess I, I want to support car bomb as much as I can and this is my way of supporting car bomb is making this video about them hopefully putting them on the map just a little bit more yeah uh, before I go on too long well, thank you so much for watching car bomb is an incredible band and this is a toast to them see you later